Look at that. It's like something from the Timothy advert. I won't want to be under it though, eh? Now then, and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all well. As you can probably tell, I'm at Loch Lomond and we're gonna start this video slightly differently. But as I walk down to the beach, this amazing rainbow happened and I'm like, I've got to get that shot. I've got to get that shot. Didn't even tripod it or anything, all handheld. Uh, and I must've taken about a thousand photographs of this rainbowy scene. If I take any good shots that I think, or deem to be good, uh, I'll pop them up either while I'm talking or at the end. But yeah, oh, awesome, in fact. It's all happening down there now. I tell you something now, this is day one of a whole week in Scotland. And if the weather's gonna be like this, which is perfect, a bit of rain, bit of rainbow, bit of snow, low clouds, oh, it's gonna be spectacular. Welcome to Scotland. Nice. Right, so all I've done is walked about 300 yards down the shoreline and I've seen this tree, it's probably been photographed a bazillion times. Uh, don't worry, it's not a photography channel, it's just me on a photography trip. <laughs> and I know some of you watching are really into your photography as well, so hopefully I can give you some hints and tips along the way. I am no landscape photographer, by the way. Um, I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. I just enjoy the whole landscapey thing because you slow down, really nice, and you get to come to beautiful places like this. So it's starting to rain. So I've walked probably about a mile away from the van uh, to see if there are any more shot opportunities, but because the rain's come in, the clouds have come in, the light's gone away. And uh, yeah, I think it's time to uh, go back to the van. It's only day one. I've literally just arrived. This is supposed to be like the chill day after a five hour drive. Uh, and uh, getting those photographs were just a bonus for me. That could be the only set of photographs I get all, uh, all week, who knows? Who knows? Firkin Point is basically a car park that you're allowed to camp in overnight right on the shorelines of Loch Lomond. After the 31st of October, you can camp here without a permit, but from the 1st of March, you're required to purchase a permit to camp. I'll pop a link in the description below. My camp was completely free.
This park up as a toilet block, but sadly it was closed for winter, so I couldn't get in to show you. There are a few massive waste bins and quite a few spaces for camper vans too, although I'm guessing it fills up pretty quickly at peak times. That's about it for this tour, but the further north I go, I'll be visiting more campsites and give you full tours of their facilities as and when I get to them. Right, where's my beer? <sighs> nice. Uh, step two choice this time is a Madri. Lovely. I just got sat down in the van and I'm just like, well, what do you do now? <laughs> After speaking to quite a few of you, you've said that you like all the videos of people going to, you know, all the wild camping spots and the amazing views and things like that. But you guys are wanting to do something similar, but not go to wild camping spots because the various reasons, like you might feel a little bit uncomfortable going to wild camping spots. You want the, you know, the facilities of a campsite and things like that. So what I'm trying to do with this set of videos, and I've watched loads and loads of videos and they're amazing of people in awesome spots and they're waking up to these amazing views and stuff, but some people aren't comfortable with that. So the idea is to try and get these amazing views and these amazing spots, but via the medium of campsites. <laughs> I've got full charge on my batteries, and because I'm staying at some campsites with electric hookup, some without electric hookup, uh, it means that I can charge up stuff, empty my uh, toilet and everything like that. Um, I'm gutted I can't use the toilets because they're closed, but you know, it is what it is. And I think I'm just gonna hunker down, chill out, finish my beer, maybe watch a movie or two, and, uh, and I'll be back with you soon. Right then, that's dinner done, and I'm a happy chappy. I've got a full belly and everything. Just been out to empty the bins, and it's absolutely pitch black out there. To take a torch and everything, you can see nothing. I've also had a bit of a tidy up and a spruce up. Um, made the van smell a lot nicer than dinner did. Um, dinner's nice and it smells lovely while you're eating it, but afterwards it's not. It's one of my bugbears. Cooking in the van, it's not really my favourite thing to do. I'd much rather cook outside, but needs must at the moment. I'm in a car park, not at a campsite, and it's raining, so... Yeah, I have to cook in the van. It's just a case of getting the bed out now, getting everything ready for bedtimes, um, getting my hot water bottle ready because I know that that makes me feel super, super cozy and nice and uh, just chilling the night away. Right, good night guys. I shall see you in the morning. See you, bye. It's about eight o'clock and um, I woke up ready to do a coffee montage in the van and I looked out and I realised the sun was up and it was looking pretty snazzy. So I got out and I've taken a few photographs. I think it just captures a really nice moment this morning. <laughs> Right then, so windows demisted and stuff, and then I forgot, and I realised that I've got the little dehumidifier. Uh, so if I remember, I'll put that on tonight yeah, and see if it makes any difference to the uh, uh, window steaming up and stuff like that, because I know you guys are wanting to know. But I was just sat here, just thinking to myself, just finished my coffee. And I'm thinking to myself, do you know what? I'm in no rush to go anywhere. I've got some ideas of where I want to go. Um, I think we're probably going to go via the Falls of Fallock, which I keep calling Falls of Phallic, and I'm hoping it's shaped in the shape of a penis. That would be awesome um, for lols. And then we're going to go to the Skyfall location. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Skyfall location, here's the original photograph as taken in the movie Skyfall. 
not by me and then I'm going to try and recreate that myself I don't know might go horribly wrong before we head off to the campsite uh, which is the red squirrel and I'll do a full campsite tour for you guys when we get there oh and if the weather stays like this it's going to be amazing right I'm off see you bye Right then, with the falls of Phallic. <laughs> um, looks quite nice from here, but hopefully I can get a nice photograph of it. The light's not great, I'll be honest with you. It's a bit flat and dull. But uh, I'm here, and I, I won't be this close to the falls of Phallic for such a long time. Look at that, it's like something from the Timothy advert. I won't want to be under it though, eh? Bloody hell. I'm glad I came here. Look at that. So that's a really nice shot. The only problem is you guys are in shot. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really happy with that shot, I think. Apart from you guys being in shot. So I'm gonna do it again without the camera being in and uh, maybe get a few more compositions. And if there's any really nice ones, uh, I'll pop them up. Lovely. So that was the Falls of Phallic. <laughs> Lovely. I think I've got some nice photographs. Um, but for me, the point is just getting out here and seeing stuff. I'm more blown away by how lovely it looks than I am my photographs, but that's the point, isn't it? To just get out. Uh, there was a chap down there with a 360 camera. I've just done some 360 stuff and we both just look like idiots flailing around with a 360 camera on the end of a stick. <laughs> Let's get back to the van. Let's go to the Skyfall location. And then, might be time to get the kettle on and get some breakfast. Guess I'm starving. I think I could have chosen a more touristy hotspot. There's literally thousands of people here. <laughs> come here and not do the uh, Skyfall location it had to be done um, having seen that film quite a few times now I thought I'm gonna come here probably just like everybody else does and get a photograph Right, so I'm on my way to the Red Squirrel campsite now, uh, but I'm a tad early, so I've just pulled over and I'm gonna uh, get the kettle on and have a pot noodle, obviously. Every single corner that I turn, I just wanna pull over and get a photograph. It's just so nice. Um, I've got a photograph of that. I think I'm gonna stitch it together. I've done it with the 70 to 200 
to, to get the compression because I think that when I use a longer lens on a massive object like that, it pulls it towards the camera, makes it look, you know, like some people always say, it never does it justice on camera. And that's usually because it's wide angle and it pushes everything in the center of the lens away to make it look smaller. Whereas um, with the 70 to 200, it compresses it and brings it a bit closer. So hopefully that picture's come out nicely because the, there's so much lovely light shining off the wet rocks on that mountain. It looks proper lovely. Right then, that's the uh, touristy stuff done for today. It's been a lot busier here in November than I thought it were going to be. There's quite a lot of people about, probably down to the weather being nice. I don't know, but I just had a quick look at the weather app and it's saying snow. So that should be ace. So yeah, on to Red Squirrel now. There's a subscriber there. He's been messaging me. He's already there. So I'm going to go say hello to him. I have a five pit and a few beers tonight. So I do apologize if there's not much video. I'll certainly video what I'm having for dinner because it's something I've never cooked in the van. Um, so I'll give that a go and see what happens. Onwards to the Red Squirrel. Yay! <laughs> Join me next week where I stay at Red Squirrel Campsite, show you what this awesome place has to offer with a campsite tour and take you further north to photograph and explore the west coast of Scotland. Have an awesome week you lot and above all, be kind. Is it on the draw? Hello? It's on the draw. Let's turn the light on the way. Hello, McFly. Hello. Recording. Oh, it's just going to be me staring at you like, is it recording? <laughs> Where well, the cupboard is there? It's there, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Got to love it, first place. <sighs> Quality content is cool. There you go. Rainbow. Rainbow, 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 rainbow. rainbow. Come on, come on, come on. Haven't got time. Haven't got time. Come on. Are we going to address you? Get away, my next girl again. <coughs> Recording? Yes. Right, so all I've done is walked. Wait a minute, don't look like David Brent. <laughs> ah, I know why. And when we get back in the next bit of. Right, so I'm on my way back to the van now. Right, so I'm on my way back to the van now. And in this next bit of video for you guys, I'll give you a little tour of the facilities at this part. Right, I'm on my way back to the van now. And those people. I'm in the motorhome parking spot and somebody's just pulled up next to me in a car right next to the door. So if I open the door, I'd literally fall into their car. Stupid. Got a campsite and it's raining, so yeah, I have to cook in the van. So oh, that was almost perfect. I think the three little sisters or the three sisters or something. Don't quote me, don't come here for technicals. <laughs>